YouTube family. What is up everyone? This is the original girl B and I just have one question for you. Do you care about being good at Mario Kart? Does it really make a difference if you're first or 12th or is Mario Kart for you a game where you just want to jump on it and be crazy and maybe jump on it drunk when you got some dumb friends in town or maybe it's just a game where when you're having the family night everybody can get on there and have fun and that's perfectly fine but if you are one of the people who are just competitive in general you can lay six bottle caps on the ground and make a game out of it and be really competitive trying to win then you're also going to want to be competitive in this game and if you're thinking oh there's no real way to be competitive in Mario Kart there's no real difference in anything it all depends on the fate of what you get out of these random boxes then you're actually wrong and there is a lot that goes into you know giving yourself a small advantage here and there and the more advantages that you give yourself the more likely you are to jump those two or three spots you know if you normally get ninth and eighth man you can move up to fourth or fifth and the more of these tips that you kind of use because I'll admit and and it's one of the things that's actually beautiful about this game it's the perfect combination of practice skill and luck and the more you the more skill you use and the more skill um, and strategic that you use the better chances you have at being successful you give yourself a little bit of an advantage over some of the other players so today we're going to be talking about playing defensively you know you can always get a weapon and try to knock somebody off course but Rocky Balboa is not right in this instance it's not about taking the hit it's about making sure that you stay on course and you're not flipping your car up all around because you have got hit by a red shell or a green shell or a Bowser shell or whatever it is so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about playing some defense and this right here is the best defense that you can possibly play if you get a banana or you get a single green shell there is no reason to ever throw that banana or green shell because so long as you hold it right here behind you the person who is one place behind you needs at least two things to knock you off course so until you decide that you want to make your move on the next position then and you need to get another weapon into your arsenal you can simply hold these weapons here and anytime they try to throw something it's going it's going to get knocked away um, and that is really how you end up getting into a position or holding your position because for the most part you usually don't just pass somebody up in this game you usually they get knocked off course or you knock them off course or something like this um, and the more you can avoid being hit like honestly the people who end the game in first place, the reason why they end the game in first place is because they only got hit maybe once or twice. Three times tops. But the person in first is not one who has gotten hit three or four times. So the more you can hold those weapons like the green shell, the banana, one of the really big ones is that blow horn because that can knock literally anything away. The more you use those to your advantage instead of you know being really aggressive and trying to pass up the next person that is how you get to a point where you're moving up every place um, instead of constantly being like eighth or ninth so hopefully this helped you guys out I'm gonna be doing several videos like this and I will see you guys later